It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Delight. Out with me, Sean George, trainer of Ziddy Zhang. Sean, firstly, welcome back to London. It's like a second home or a third home for you now? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, man. I love this place. I love the box fight fans. Um, I love what UK is doing with the sport of boxing right now. Um, I'm happy to be here. Let's jump straight into it. I just spoke to Malik Scott. Obviously, you know Malik well. He knows you. Seven years. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he has a lot of respect for you. And, he, I do. and so do I. He's, he knows he's up. You know, it's going to be a tough fight. It's no walkover. But just explain to me first. I just want to go back. You're both fighters are coming off losses to the same fight in, in Jose Parker in different ways. You know, Zhang had a lot of success with Parker, knocked him down, and, and it was a close fight at the end. And Jose Parker, uh, you know, beat Deontay Wilder quite convincingly. Just your assessment on how things have been since that loss and how Zhang has been since that loss, because he didn't, from the announcement of, of the results, it, it seemed like he didn't take it very well. Um, would anybody take a loss well? Um, Jule is a competitive, he's a competitive boxer. Um, he is, he's one of those fighters that um, understands what he did wrong. And he understands that when, we, when it all comes down to everything else, that he made a mistake. And he fell in love with his power. And so we're going to correct that mistake. I mean, obviously with, with Deontay Wilder and his loss to, to Barker, how do you assess that performance that he had? Um, almost, um, I did excess. Um, Inactivity could play a part in that. In that. Uh, he hasn't fought in over a year previous to that fight. He only had one round after that. Um, you know, I don't think he's shot. I think that he does have one more fight in him, and we're going to see, and we're preparing for the best Deontay Wilder there. I mean, both men, I know everyone talks about Deontay Wilder's power, but we've seen Zhang's power over the last few fights as well, knocking multiple opponents down, knocking out Joe Joyce. This fight doesn't seem like it's going to go 12 rounds. Um, is my theory correct? Um, I, I, we don't plan on it, but we always plan on everything. Like every round, every round we look, every single round we do look for the knockout. Um, if it go one round, if it go twelve rounds, we're going to be looking for the knockout no matter what. Um, we respect Deontay Wilder. We res I respect Malik Scott as a coach and as a friend. Um, but we're here for the win. You know what I mean, we, we're brothers, but we're competitive at the same time. Everybody here is going to be competitive. Jalei will be the best heavyweight in the world, considered soon. We know there was a rematch clause with Joseph Parker. Is there a reason why that fight didn't take place? Or was this more, uh, or was the route here with Wilder a lot more lucrative? We wanted to fight Wilder for many years. This is not, like many years, you wanted to fight Wilder, you wanted to fight the Joshua's and everybody else. Um, the opportunity presented itself um, and we took it. Obviously, he's been on the road a while now. Zhang, when does he, when does he have a homecoming? Um, hopefully, you got to talk to his managers, Terry and Tommy, over there. Um, his promoter, Frank Warren. Um, he deserves one, doesn't he? Doesn't he? I think he deserves one. It, it would be amazing over there. He's he's number one athlete in China right now. Um, millions and millions and millions of fans over there. So they should have one soon. It is a uh, stacked stacked card, uh, Sean. Um, is there any other fight that you're particularly looking forward to watching and just sitting back and enjoying? The main event, um, Better Be It versus Bevo. It's a great fight, um, undisputed, right? It's undisputed, right? Or unification, yeah, undisputed, right? Um, I've been waiting for that fight for years. Um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I can't pick it yet. Is it 50-50? Is it the aggressor? Is it the boxer? Which one are you gonna pick? Is it the guy that have a 100% knockout ratio? Or is it the guy that, beat the number one fighter in the world in Canelo Alvarez. It's a great fight. And um, as a boxer fan, this whole card is stacked. As a boxer fan, I am looking forward to watching it as well. Sure, I know just coming back to yourself uh, uh, and Zhang and Wilder, a lot of people said after the Wilder loss to Barker that, you know, he's done, he's finished. You know, no punch resistant left. He, he, his feet were all over the place. Um, he's had his best years. He spoke very passionately up there about falling out of love with boxing. We know how grueling this sport is. You know, some, a lot of people just see fighters in the ring, but there's a lot that happens outside these long 10, 12 week camps. Yeah. Uh, Do you understand the perspective that Wilder was coming from? I retired because of the politics of the game. Um, many years ago, um, as a fighter, I was ranked number five in the world. Um, so I understand what he said and 
I took that to heart as well. So I understand where he's coming from. Um, but I do also know that he's motivated as well. He's, motiva he's motivated so everybody what he's able to do. So that's why we're not underestimating him, but we're not overestimating him as well. Good luck, get your opinion. Fury Usyk is not far away. It's two weeks before uh, you guys, uh, well, probably in Saudi already, maybe by that time or maybe just slightly after. Um, everyone I speak to is, is, is sitting on the fence right now because it's so close. What are your thoughts, Sean? Um, it's a hard fight to pick. It's, it's a hard fight to pick, right? Um, but I think I'm, pick, I'm going to go with Usyk because of that cut that happened in the past. Um, but Tyson Fury could very well touch that body and break him down too. So it's a hard fight to pick, but I'm going to lean towards Usyk. Last one. Um, this week, New York, Barclays Center, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. I'm, I'm sure you've seen all the social media stuff. Um, we don't know what's going on. It looks like the fight's still going ahead on Saturday. What's your thoughts on then who wins that? It's hard to go against Devin Haney, honestly, when you're looking at everything else. But I'm never counting out Ryan Garcia. He's still a skilled boxer. Um, he's motivated as well, so you never know. Um, but I'm probably go with the favorite in Devin Haney. Sean, sure, appreciate your time. Wish you all the best in camp with Wazidi Zhang, and uh, we'll see you in the uh, kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away 524 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold, so join the raffle now. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.